The first true crocodiles emerged on Earth approximately 95 million years ago, marking the beginning of a lineage that would eventually give rise to the crocodiles we recognize today. However, before their appearance, there existed a diverse group of animals known as Pseudosuchia, which shared similarities with crocodiles and were not only semi-aquatic, but also exhibited remarkable diversity. These Pseudosuchians branched off from the common lineage that eventually led to the evolution of pterosaurs, dinosaurs, and birds, a significant event that occurred around 240 million years ago. During the Triassic period, the Pseudosuchians thrived and flourished, displaying an astonishing array of forms and adaptations. At this time, they stood on the brink of becoming the dominant life forms on land, poised to shape ecosystems with their presence. However, as a major turning point arrived roughly 200 million years ago in the form of the Triassic-Jurassic Extinction Event. The Triassic-Jurassic Extinction Event brought about a drastic decline in the diversity of Pseudosuchians, leading to a significant loss of their once vast numbers. While some members of this group managed to survive the cataclysmic event, many others perished, forever altering the trajectory of their evolution. Nevertheless, those resilient survivors paved the way for the emergence of the crocodiles that continue to inhabit our planet today, carrying forward the ancient legacy of their lineage. Not only did Pseudosuchians endure the Triassic-Jurassic extinction event, but they also persevered through another calamity of immense magnitude, the catastrophic comet strike that occurred approximately 66 million years ago. This cataclysmic event wiped out non-avian dinosaurs, sending shockwaves through Earth's ecosystems. Despite the overwhelming devastation, certain members of the Pseudosuchian group, namely the ancestors of modern crocodiles, managed to survive this cataclysm and ensure the continuity of their lineage. Thus, from their ancient origins over 240 million years ago to enduring two major extinction events, Pseudosuchians and their descendants, the crocodiles, have demonstrated exceptional resilience and adaptability. They have stood the test of time, evolving and persisting through tumultuous periods in Earth's history. This longevity can be attributed to their exceptional adaptive features, which have allowed them to thrive in diverse environments and endure countless challenges. One of their adaptive abilities is estivation a process similar to hibernation that they undergo during freezing conditions. By entering a state of dormancy, they can conserve energy and withstand the harshness of extremely cold winters. This unique adaptation proved to be a lifesaver during the aftermath of a catastrophic comet strike when the world was plunged into a nuclear winter-like scenario. The ability to estivate allowed them to survive in an environment that was uninhabitable for many other species. A key advantage of these creatures is their cold-blooded nature. Unlike warm-blooded animals, they have lower energy requirements, which grants them a significant advantage in resource-scarce situations. Their metabolic efficiency enables them to endure prolonged periods without food. And astonishingly, some species have been known to survive for over a year in such circumstances. Interestingly, there is evidence suggesting that they evolved from warm-blooded ancestors, adding an intriguing twist to their evolutionary history and further emphasizing their remarkable adaptability. Reproduction is another fascinating aspect of these creatures' survival strategy. They lay a significant number of eggs and exhibit no parental care toward their young. As soon as the eggs hatch, the offspring are capable of fending for themselves and finding food. This reproductive strategy is incredibly resilient as it allows the species to rebound even in the event of mass extinction. Even if all adults were to perish, as long as the young hatched a few weeks later, the population could recover and flourish without the need for parental guidance. This independence of the offspring ensures the continuity of the species, even in the face of dire circumstances. Their diet is another testament to their adaptability. Adult creatures primarily feed on larger animals that are often the first to perish during extinction events. However, the young ones rely on smaller prey that manages to survive during such calamities. This difference in dietary preferences between the adults and the offspring ensures that there is a continuous source of sustenance for the species, even in the face of catastrophic events. Their ability to adjust their feeding habits according to the available resources contributes to their overall survival. Moreover, 
These creatures possess an incredibly advanced and potent immune system that far surpasses that of humans. This robust immune defense mechanism acts as a formidable shield, even when they are weakened and hungry during extinction events. It provides them with heightened protection against infections, diseases, and other health threats, further enhancing their survival prospects during challenging times. In addition to their remarkable survival strategies, certain species have also adapted to semi-aquatic and aquatic lifestyles. This adaptation enables them to seek refuge underwater during the most perilous moments, such as firestorms or other cataclysmic events. By temporarily hiding in aquatic environments, they can escape immediate danger and increase their chances of survival. This versatility in habitat selection expands their potential for finding safe havens and contributes to their long-term survival. During the Triassic period, these creatures achieved unprecedented diversity and widespread distribution. The sheer abundance of species and individuals ensured that even if a few breeding pairs managed to survive out of possibly hundreds of millions of individuals of certain species, their lineage would endure and persist. This extraordinary reproductive capacity and numerical advantage played a significant role in the long-term survival and evolutionary success of these remarkable creatures. The exceptional adaptive features of these creatures have allowed them to endure and thrive in the face of numerous challenges throughout their evolutionary history. From their ability to estivate during freezing conditions, to their unique reproductive strategies and versatile diet, these creatures have proven themselves to be masters of adaptation. Their advanced immune systems and habitat adaptability further enhance their prospects for survival. As they continue to evolve, Crocodiles and alligators, as we know them today, are just a single branch in the evolutionary history of a once incredibly diverse group of animals. These remarkable creatures, known as Pseudosuchia, had a wide range of forms and adaptations. Their ancestors were even bipedal, walking on two legs, and although modern crocodilians are quadrupeds, their hind legs still retain some of that ancestral legacy, being slightly larger than their front legs. Within the Pseudosuchia lineage, there existed a myriad of fascinating crocodile-like creatures that exhibited astonishing variations. Some were herbivores, feeding on plants and vegetation, while others were omnivores, consuming both plant and animal matter. Armored forms developed tough, protective plating on their bodies, granting them increased defense against predators. In contrast, some Pseudosuchians were remarkably fast, capable of sprinting or galloping on all four legs. The most astonishing of them all were bipedal, walking exclusively on their hind legs, a characteristic shared with their ancestors. Exploring the depths of the ancient aquatic world, Pseudosuchia also boasts fully aquatic species. These aquatic crocodile-like creatures were adapted to life in water, utilizing streamlined bodies and powerful tails to navigate rivers, lakes, and other watery habitats. Intriguingly, Recent discoveries have suggested that some of these aquatic relatives may have possessed feathers. Feathers, once thought to be unique to birds, have been found in the ancestors of both pterosaurs and dinosaurs, which are closely related to crocodilians. The presence of feathers in these ancient reptiles raises intriguing questions about their biology and physiology. One hypothesis is that they may have descended from warm-blooded animals and feathers could have played a role in maintaining a constant body temperature. Feathers are excellent insulators, providing insulation against both cold and heat, making them invaluable for thermoregulation. While the evidence for feathered Pseudosuchia is not yet known, the discovery of feathers in their close relatives fuels speculation about the possibility. Studying the evolutionary history of Pseudosuchia is an ongoing endeavor, and the search for ancient, feathered specimens continues. Paleontologists tirelessly scour fossil-rich sites, hoping to uncover the secrets of these extraordinary creatures. With each discovery, our understanding of the ancient world and the remarkable diversity of life that once existed on our planet grows deeper. The survival of crocodiles through numerous mass extinctions stands as a testament to their remarkable resilience and adaptability. Their ancient origins, combined with adaptive features such as semi-aquatic lifestyles, Powerful jaws and flexible reproductive strategies have allowed them to endure and thrive in ever-changing environments. Crocodiles' ability to adapt to changing conditions, exploit a diverse range of food sources, disperse to new habitats, and coexist with different ecosystems has further contributed to their survival. 
their ecological importance as ecosystem engineers, and their capacity to create and maintain habitats have further enhanced their long-term resilience. However, the modern challenges of habitat loss, population, climate change, and illegal hunting require urgent conservation efforts. Protecting critical habitats, implementing strict regulations against hunting and trade, raising public awareness, and conducting scientific research are vital steps in ensuring the continued survival of crocodiles. By recognizing the unique attributes and ecological significance of crocodiles and taking proactive measures to conserve their populations, we can not only safeguard a fascinating species, but also preserve a living link to our planet's ancient past. The survival of crocodiles serves as a testament to the resilience of life itself, inspiring us to protect and conserve the diversity of our natural world. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.